Hey guys, I am Roger Wakefield, lead APV expert plumber, coming to you this morning to talk to you about tankless water heaters. Now, tankless water heaters, one big question is, will I have to change my gas system for a tankless water heater? Chances are probably yes. Unless you go a very low BTU tankless water heater, you're probably going to have to upsize or increase the volume of your gas system. One thing that a plumber should do before he ever even starts installing a tankless water for you or tankless water heater for you is to do a gas load calculation. Now what a gas load calculation is the plumber will need to come into your house, get up in your attic or, or whatever it is you've got where your gas lines are ran, measure every linear foot of gas pipe that you have, draw this out, put the BTU rating for every appliance or fixture that you have on there and make sure it's going to be big enough. He's also got to look at your meter to determine how big is your meter? How many BTUs will your meter, your gas meter uh, allow through? A lot of the meters around here, most of probably the average meter around here has allows 275,000 BTUs or what? 275 cubic feet an hour. So what you've got to look at is you're taking out a tank type water heater, possibly, probably that calls for 40,000 BTUs you're putting in a tankless water heater that calls for 199,000 BTUs. So you're looking at a big delta there. Now, if you've got say a 40 or 50 gallon water heater, you draw 40 to 50,000 BTUs right now. If you go a tankless water heater and you increase that demand, even if it's a temporary demand, because you know, we call tankless water heaters on demand water heaters, but if you increase that demand, even for a little bit, here, here's the worst case scenario. And here's why you want to upgrade that. And I, I tell this to people not to scare them, but to be honest, say you come home in the middle of the winter, you turn on your log lighter to light a fire in the fireplace. Your, your wife jumps in the shower to take a hot shower and turns on the hot water. If you know, if your gas system is undersized and your water heater, your new tankless water heater draws, you know, 199,000 BTUs and it draws so much of your gas that, that your fire goes out at your log lighter and you don't realize it. And then she turns off that water or turns off the water. So now the water heater stops. Now it starts supplying gas back to your log lighter because you left it on. Now you're filling your house with natural gas. Is that possible? Absolutely. Every plumber should know to do a gas load calculation chart. Every plumber should know to test it. Once he hooks it up, hook up a manometer to it, call for it at a tub, someplace that's going to create a big demand and see how far does that pressure drop? Because you still want to make sure you've still got enough pressure and volume for every other appliance in the rest of the house. You know, the last thing you want to do guys is turn your house into a bomb. And the, the way to do that is by installing a tankless water heater with your current gas line, it is really going to try to suck gas in, in order to give you the, the hot water that you're calling for. You don't want it to starve something else. Now I use the fireplace because that's the one that doesn't have a pilot light. It, it's not going to shut off. You know, luckily most appliances that we have or, or fail safe, you know, they, they've got a fail safe built in to where, you know, your water heater, for example, if you lose your flame, your pilot light goes out, it will not let gas into the chamber. So there, there's a lot of reasons that you want to look at this. 
I use a fireplace because a log lighter just has a manual valve. You open it up, gas flows to it, you close it, you cut the gas line off. So what you have to do is one of two things. <clears throat> you check it out and decide that you need to increase the size of the pipe. Your, your meter's big enough. You've got enough linear footage or your linear footage is actually short enough that your meter can handle it the way it is. You may just need to increase the size of the line to that water heater. Everything goes back to manufacturers' recommendations and even cities that, that say, look, you, we don't require a gas load calculation chart. They want you to do it because you need to know, do I have enough gas getting to this water heater? So tankless water heaters are a big deal, guys. The, the popularity of them is going to grow more and more. A good thing is, and, and I point this out on people and their ROI, is look, if you invest the money now to upgrade your system to where this tankless water heater works for you, you're not going to have to do that again. Meaning 20 years from now, when you go to change this tankless water heater out, your gas line is already upsized. Your vent piping is already done. Everything's already ready for you to just come out just like a, a regular water heater, take out the old one, put in the new one. It's not going to cost you a lot extra then. Does that still mean it's worth it for everybody? No. Does that still mean the ROI is worth it? If it's going to take you 40 years to pay it off or, or to recoup your investment? Maybe not. Is it worth it to have a tankless water heater in there so you're using less gas every month? Absolutely. Guys, upgrading your gas is something that is very important to think about and to consider. And if your plumber is coming in and putting in a tankless water heater and not even talking to you about your gas line, your gas system, if he's not checking it out, guys, I'd be afraid. Make sure you deal with a reputable plumber. Make sure you're pulling permits, getting, getting it inspected, because that's going to be a big deal for you. It's going to have the city inspector who, who knows all about these come out, look at your system and say, hey, this will work or hey, this won't work. And then that puts the burden back on the plumber. So make sure that you cover yourself because all plumbers may not be looking out for your best interest. I hope you're enjoying these videos. If so, guys, please click on the button. The subscribe button right there, right down there. Click on it. Tell your friends about us. Leave us a comment down below. If there's things that we hadn't talked about that you want to hear about, we do have this set up to where we kind of know what we're talking about most days. Sometimes we come in and we may have an extra day or two in the month that, that we can literally talk about anything. So guys, if there's anything you want to hear about, please leave it in the comments down below. We check these, we respond to these, send me an email, go to our webpage, check out our webpage. We've got other blogs about other things. If this is stuff you like, please subscribe, please tell your friends about us and let us know what you think. My name is Roger Wakefield with Texas Green Plumbing, saving you money one drop at a time.